This is the second part of our tutorial about how to do ROI analysis using SPM command lines as opposed to the Mars bar graphical user interface. So recall in the first part all we did was we created a bunch of ROI coordinates and we just stuck them onto a single .mat file so that we could use them for later reference if we needed it. Now that we have a couple of the, the coordinate sets for these ROIs, we can go ahead and use a command called SPM get data to extract parameter estimates, contrast estimates, anything you want uh, from those ROIs. Okay? So let's take a look at this command. It's called spm.getData. And the first thing it wants is a struct array of file handles. This is just a fancy way of saying it wants a path to each contrast that you used for your analysis. Right? So imagine that we had a second level analysis. We had a number of subjects that went into that analysis and we want to average over the ROI for each of those contrasts for each subject. This is the same thing that happens when you use the ROI defaults in the Mars bar graphical user interface. The second argument is XYZ and that's simply a, a matrix that contains the information for where each coordinate is in each of these ROIs. So we, we already have those, you know, we have CG and CCZ. All right, so how do we get this, this V structure that contains information for each of these, these contrasts? If you go into a results directory, so let's say we ran a second level analysis, okay? If you go in there, you will have an SPM map file, right? Because these results have been estimated and you know, they've been used to produce different contrasts and betas. So, but if we go into the second level, it will have a field available in spm.xy.p that tells you what the path is to each of these contrasts that you might be interested in. So for example, if I just look into one of these, this gives me a full path to the contrast number that went into this analysis. Okay, so for this subject it was contrast 13, and the rest of these will give the other corresponding contrast for the rest of the subjects. So all I need to do to extract the data from that ROI is to type in spm get data spm.xy.p and then the variable containing the coordinate information for that ROI. Okay. Now it's going to give you 81 columns because it's one for each of those voxels. We don't want that necessarily. Usually we want to average across every voxel within an ROI. So I just append to this a mean and then we're averaging across each voxel. That's what the two represents. Okay, so now that we have that, what we're left with is an average for each subject for that contrast across that ROI. Okay, so now that we have that, we could do you know simple you know, t-test versus zero for that. Um, not using that answer. You know, you get a p-value, is it significantly different from zero? What's the contrast interval? What's the t-stat? And we could also go into, say, you know, another person's, uh, let's see, where was I previously? Shoot, I forget. Anyway, the point is we can go into different you know, second level contrasts. Let's say I'm in a directory with a bunch of second level contrasts. And once I go into each of these, I can just load up those different spm.mat files. Okay, this assumes that you've run a second level analysis where you've selected all the different contrasts you want to go into this second level analysis. So I load spm, and let's say, you know, I want to call this uh, cg underscore epoch. And that equals just what I typed in before, the average across that ROI for all the subjects. So mean spm.getData p uh, cg and averaging across voxels. So I have that and then I can go to another directory Let's say imagine impulse load the SPM and I can do the same thing here just tweak the name slightly. This is really cool because now I can do a direct contrast between you know say these different uh, sets of contrast estimates using a uh, built-in uh, MATLAB function, so HPCI stats. This is just because it's a function which returns all that stuff. Uh, t-test CG epoch CG impulse. Okay, so are these two significantly different from each other? Well, this would suggest no. 
But this can make it much easier to do this because now you have all this stuff saved into variables and you can run this for any contrast that you want. So that's how you do it using SPM get data. In my opinion, it can make things much more efficient, much quicker, much easier. Now it's up to you to decide which one you want, but this is just another option that you can use to analyze your data.